Hello, everybody. I am Dr. Sarah Wooten. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. In this video, we are going to be discussing raw food diets for cats. Ooh, controversial. Uh, I'm going to be sharing my personal opinion, uh, what I, I know about it, and then ultimately the decision is yours, what you end up doing with your pets. So let's dive in. So let's talk about the advantages of feeding raw. We'll talk about the advantages and then we'll talk about some of the concerns and the disadvantages, okay? So if you, as the pet parent, believe that this diet is the best thing and you wanna feed it, then it's an advantage to you to feed it. Some people like to feed raw because they don't, they don't think that commercial pet food is good for their cat. And so they want to feed something that's more natural, right? Minimal processing, no ingredients that they can't understand, no grain, stuff like that. Another advantage in my personal experience, when I have had clients that were feeding raw, those clients generally feel like their cats uh, are healthier. They just feel like their cats are healthier, a better energy level, shinier coat, cleaner teeth, uh, less gas, normal bowel. They think that their pets have fewer health problems. In my experience, again, this is my experience. I am one veterinarian among hundreds of thousands of veterinarians among billions of people, right? So I, here I am with my tiny little opinion. Uh, my clients, my clients and my patients that were fed raw, and remember these people were pretty informed and discerning. They were really healthy. These animals had really healthy teeth really shiny um, coats, their weights were good, they were bright. Uh, so I, you know, even though I was raised per se on dry commercial foods and there's no problems with that, I fed my dog commercial food for years. I do have to look at some of these animals and go, hmm, maybe there's something here, okay? Another advantage is a raw diet is considered to be what we call like an ancestral diet, okay? And this is actually pretty true for cats. If you think about it, Less than 100 years ago, what were these cats eating? Well, they weren't eating dry food, dry commercial food. That didn't show up until like the 40s or something like that. No, they were out hunting, right? They were hunters. They were barn cats. They helped keep down rodent populations. And so for a cat, ideally, uh, you know, several small rodents and some birds and some grasshoppers is an ideal diet for them, but it's pretty impractical, right? You're not going to go out there and, you know, catch a bunch of mice and get a bunch of birds. And also, you know, the other thing that they struggled with, obviously, is they were hunting, so they did get a lot of parasites from these. So the other thing that is uh, good to know about these cats that were hunting is that they consume the entire animal, right? So they not only ate the meat, but they also ate the bones. They ate all the internal organs, including what was in the gut. And most of their prey were herbivores. So they were getting fiber and berries and other kinds of things out of these prey that they're eating. So that's another advantage. It's considered to be more ancestral. So another advantage of feeding raw is that these foods are uh, considered mm, to have higher levels of bioactive compounds. Um, because when you cook food, it does break down some stuff, right? So raw diets uh, have higher levels of some antioxidants, some vitamin E, uh, some of those flavonoids, things like that, because they're not cooked. It's the same as eating raw for a human. And so this could be a benefit, right? And that is another possible benefit of feeding raw. Uh, feeding raw might, might improve immune function. There's a couple of studies out there. Um, it's not surprising because 70, almost 80% of your immune system, your immune system and your cat's immune system is in the gut, right? And it's not surprising that when you feed, what you feed your cat has an effect on their immunity. But there have been no direct benefits uh, shown in any peer-reviewed studies that it, it does improve immune function, but it's a possibility. And then again, um, in my personal experience, 
most of my patients that were fed raw had really, they had healthy body conditions. They weren't overweight. Uh, so I'm not sure why this is. It could be that the food was more expensive. So the clients were more conscientious about how much they were feeding. I'm not sure. So the other thing is uh, that sometimes if there is a chronic medical problem for a cat that has say food allergies to some of the more common proteins out there, switching to a raw food could be helpful in solving medical problems, right? And this could uh, include things like recurrent vomiting and diarrhea, um, recurrent uh, itchy skin or ear infections, things like that, right? So maybe, maybe feeding raw can help some of these animals that are suffering from that stuff. Uh, in cats, um, they actually do get some additional uh, gas and diarrhea by feeding too much of the dietary carbs because a cat's gut is different than a human's gut or a dog's gut. Human's gut and dog's gut looks very similar to each other. A cat has a very short gut and that is uh, because they are a carnivore, right? And so sugars that aren't completely digested because they didn't have enough time to get through the shorter gut can cause problems in the colon, including gas, runny stool, things like that, okay? However, having said that, there are no peer-reviewed articles that show significant medical benefits from feeding raw diets. They're just not out there. Nobody's doing them. There's a lot of non-peer-reviewed, and what that means is that a bunch of doctors get together and they read it and then they talk about it and they decide whether it's true or not, right? and then they publish it in a medical journal. There are a lot of non-peer-reviewed studies that suggest that pets, cats that have uh, food allergies or allergies in general, or problems with their gut, either vomiting or diarrhea or cancer, right? Certain types of cancer. Um, those articles suggest that feeding raw might help these cats, but there are no objective controlled studies out there. So I can't say one way or the other, but I can tell you what I've seen on the web. Okay. Um, what I have found again is some of my raw patients, they just seem to do really well. So now that we've talked about the advantages, let's talk about some of the possible disadvantage. One of the main disadvantages or one of the main concerns that you know, people like me, the veterinarian has, is that the food is not complete and balanced, according to the Association of American Feed Control Officials, AFCO, right? And it's according to their nutrition profiles. So that can lead to malnutrition over time. And that's when people are wanting to feed raw, but they don't get the guidance of a board certified nutritionist to create their recipes. So it's really important to know that if you are going to cook, uh, feed your pet raw, uh, that you have to, um, you have to get all the vitamins and minerals in there because a muscle based food, uh, is, is not high enough in vitamins and minerals. So you have to add vegetables, the calcium phosphorus ratio has to be right. And only a few pet food, raw pet food manufacturers um, have done the feeding trials, which is considered the gold standard to achieve that AFCO certification. But even if it says formulated by AFCO standards to be complete and balanced, it's okay. But that's the number one concern. Is it complete and balanced? Oh, we don't know, right? Then there is also the concern uh, for how much it's time it's going to take to uh, make the food. Uh, as we talked about already, it just takes more time to do raw. There is the concerns about how much it's going to cost. Um, some pets don't tolerate raw food. There's something in their gut that just doesn't do well with it and they, they have problems. So that's another concern. And then one of the, one of the big concerns uh, is obviously safety. My priorities are your safety and your pet's safety. So most cats can handle uh, a small amount of bacteria that's in, and most of the time the bacteria is in ground meat, ground meat. 
Uh, most of the time, the acid in their stomach actually kills it. But again, uh, safety, safety, safety. We don't want to feed raw food to any cat that has a suppressed immune system because of disease or because of medications like steroids that they're on. Also, um, cats that have uh, moderately advanced uh, kidney disease, uh, heart disease, liver problems, diabetes, and I think cancer as well uh, are really, I would say, not the best candidates for raw food. And again, that's just my opinion. One person out of 8 billion, okay? Uh, so, but if you want to feed that some of these raw foods can actually be cooked and you can add the vitamins. So there are still options available to you if your pet has any of those conditions, but please, please, please consult with a veterinarian and a nutritionist before you put them on those diets, just to make sure that above all, you're not doing any harm, right? Then there's the safety for you. For you, my friend, I'm also concerned. So ground meat and raw eggs, those can, those carry pathogens, those carry pathogens in human food, just as in pet food. So it's the same thing. Now, if you freeze the raw food, if you dehydrate it or you freeze dry it, there is lower levels of bacteria, but there are still some bacteria that survive. So this is not any good. This is a definite no-no if your household has anybody who is pregnant or is planning to be pregnant, if you have very young children under the age of five, if you have very old people, or if you have people who have a suppressed immune system, okay? You can actually uh, go online. You can go to the CDC and find all kinds of recommendations on how to handle raw food. Obviously, you are always going to want to wash your hands after you are handling raw food. And you also want to wash your hands after you're picking up the poop, because these are the main times when you could possibly be exposed to any kind of pathogenic bacteria, right? And so we, we always want safety first. Having said that, uh, again, most of the people who feed this raw food, either commercial or home prepared, you guys are informed and you are safety conscious. You, you practice good, safe handling of uh, food handling. You dispose of their feces and you wash your hands. All good things, right? So wash your hands. It's always good. Uh, so the thing is, is there's a lot of different opinions out there on raw food. And if you're curious about it, I would definitely encourage you to get more information on it and talk to a board certified veterinary person, uh, somebody who's trained in nutrition to help you create those recipes. The other alternative is you can just find the commercial raw foods that are complete and balanced for all life, st all life stages and then practice your, your safe food handling techniques, and then just see how your pet does, right? Um, if they don't do well, you can always go back to dry. Uh, if they do well, then yay, right? And the other thing is, is to know that some veterinarians are not comfortable or they're not really into the raw thing. And so sometimes those conversations can be a little awkward, but don't be afraid to tell your veterinarian what you're feeding. This is your pet. You are in the driver's seat. We are here simply here to advise you, okay? So that's all I have to say about feeding raw in cats. Uh, if this has been helpful or if you have comments or concerns, uh, then leave them in the comment section underneath this video. And if there's a topic you would like me to cover, um, put that down there as well. I hope this has been helpful and uh, I hope that you and your cat live well, live long and live happy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.